Welcome to Indie Resources. First video on how to make a browser-based RTS. This is Halls of Ahala. Um, basically, what I wanted to do, I had a lot of questions about making an RTS, making a you know static RTS or as far as like text-based and things like games like Travian and and things like that. And and my other MMO tutorial doesn't really cover it very well, or the MMO tutorial doesn't. So I wanted to make another set of tutorials on creating an RTS. I haven't created this. I haven't even thought of how I'm going to do it. Um, basically we're going to create it all from scratch as we go. I'm going to just going to build it as we go. We're going to learn it together because I have did something similar to this before, but nothing, nothing quite like an RTS. I know we can do it. It's just the idea of doing it. Um, we will be using a game library that, uh, you can, it's for free. You can use, give download and I'll show you where to download. Um, if you don't have WAMP or a local server, don't know how to use it. You don't know PHP. You don't know JavaScript. Watch my first set of video tutorials. Now my first set doesn't really teach JavaScript, so I'll, I'll teach JavaScript in this one, but mainly with PHP and the, and the WAMP and everything else. Um, if you don't know it, watch the first set of tutorials that I have, and if you go to the indieresource.com and go to the forums, you will find it all right here in these YouTube MMO tutorials. There's about 30-40 videos. They're worth watching if you don't know it. They'll get you caught up and then you can move on to the RTS video. You don't even have to do the code. You can just watch them just so at least you get some familiarity. And do get WAMP set up because we will be using WAMP for the local host. While I'm on the subject of, of being on Indie Resource, I will not answer questions or I will comment, but I won't answer questions on YouTube. Um, I won't answer PM, so don't send me a PM. Go to Indie Resource, come down here to the forums, and you can pretty much we got all kinds of things you can go through. You can post your project, all kinds of stuff. This is a very active forum. Um, but go down here to the uh, MMO tutorials and ask all your questions, and they'll be answered. Um, when we can get to them, sometimes I don't get all, I don't always get a chance to check them, but there are other people in the forums that will. YouTube is just a big pool of negativity. People constantly posting stupid things, spam, everything else. I love YouTube, but I don't like dealing with comments on there or as far as questions. Um, nobody really learns from them when you post them there because it's so hard to go through all those things. It's much easier if you have an actual forum built around it. If you're going to post negative, which I'm pretty lucky. It's rare, very rare that I get negative comments. I'm just going to delete it. There's no point. YouTube's got enough of negative comments, Justin Bieber comments, all that other garbage that I just don't want to deal with, so I'm just going to delete it. Um, if you want to post a negative or if you feel like something's wrong, please post it here. I'd be more than happy to keep it there and read it and comment on it, but I'm not going to deal with YouTube. So don't private message me. Don't do anything. Come here. That's where we're at. I'm just using YouTube for an easier way to everybody get to the videos. Um, so with that said, we can kind of get started on the first little video, what, the, kind of the setup. First thing you want to do is you want to get the library. The library is totally free. It's at this uh, sean.co.uk. Um, I don't know how popular this uh, library is because I don't see very many people using it, but I personally like it. it uh, he did quit working on it, but it's free, and it has everything that we need to get started, and maybe if somebody has a better library later on, we'll move to, but for right now, this is actually a really decent library that has just about everything... Um, everything you need really um, as far as what we're wanting to do and you can make an RPG with it it's, it's a really cool library I really like it um, so you can download here and when you get it just extract it to your I just extract it to a JavaScript because I, I use it so much um, and then he's got in here he's got explanations of all the the, the methods and the references and the, the whole library pretty much he's got examples so there's a lot of different things you can do with it and anything that hasn't been completed, we can build. And as you can see, it's pretty old, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make use of it, and we're gonna add to it. Um, I would not use Internet Explorer because there's a lot of things with this thing I cannot get working with Internet Explorer before Internet Explorer 9. Um, I think 9's kind of caught up, but you know half the things we make today doesn't work in Internet Explorer uh, 8 or below, so I'm not too worried about it. I use Google Chrome or Firefox, so that's what I would recommend. <clears throat> He does have some games that he built that you can link to, but well, anyway, once you get it, then you can uh, go ahead and open it up. The next thing, go ahead and go into your WAMP directory, create you a new folder, and let's just call it RTS for now. Open it up, and we're going to grab the game library. That's the important library folder. Go ahead and copy it. 
we're going to pop it into RTS and then while I'm here I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder and call it images just because we know we're going to have images um, and then now we can open up create a new file PHP file delete all this because this is going to get in your way if, if you're using Dreamweaver, if you're using anything else you're not going to get it and you can use any uh, any you, by now you already know which coding uh, program you're using I'm going to use Dreamweaver so the first thing we want to do is we want to bring in the, our, our libraries to where they'll run and, and not all these scripts we'll use we'll only use a couple of them so to get started let's just um, let's do a script and I'm going to cheat a little here and I'm going to use um, I'm going to let this thing do all my work for me. That's why I like it. And we're going to go into our game live. And the main one is the core. You're going to want to use the core first. Uh, what did it do? I should have saved it first, but uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Just save this file as index.php. There we go. And just to be sure I got this right. That's basically all I was telling me. It's a Dreamweaver thing. We're going to bring in our core. There we go. And let's stop the script. I do things a little different than most, and maybe I don't do them right, but you know what? It's the way I do them, so it's the way I do them. I'm going to call my script type. I'm going to cheat again. Text JavaScript. I guess I could have copied and pasted, but oh well. And the only other one we're going to bring in is sprites. We'll use the rest of them later, but currently not right now. So we have now our pages calling in these two libraries. And for every page that you're going to run that you're going to use this library, you're going to have to have that, those lines on. The only other thing I want to do before we move on is test to make sure everything's coming in right. So let's write a little bit of PHP. Let's echo. Just to make sure the page works and everything gets imported correctly. So let's pull up our Google. Let's just use this. Let's go to our local host. Make sure your WAMP's running. RTS and index, and it works. So every otherwise we would have got an error. So we're doing good there. Um, I'm gonna stop the video here because this is kind of an introduction. We got everything ready to go. Next we're gonna build the CSS style sheet, and um, let's go ahead and do that now. I tell you what, let's just get it out of the way so I'm not worrying about it later. Let's create a new CSS sheet and let's save as style.css and let's import it. Let's import it from the top. href. I'm going to cheat again. Probably wouldn't faster if I'd have just typed it in, but oh well. And let's just do your normal uh, popping in your style sheet, just like you normally would on anything else. Um, okay, so we got our style sheet imported. We can go ahead and test it again, Roby. Be, real, be sure. Yep, we're looking good. So next video, we'll actually build the style sheet. Get it. I'm just going to do a basic setting of this this game. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of crazy graphics and and stuff like that because that's for you guys to do. And there'll probably be a lot of features that I won't do just just so you guys can put them in your game. But um, we'll see you on the next video.